Oh yeah, kids, this is a mate of mine, Dave Dalton. And uh, Dave's a farmer here. This is a place where I live. This is a mate of mine, Rob Wallen. He's an accountant. There's some of the kids, uh, there's just some friends down there. My lady and my daughter and some friends. And Dave's a farmer. Well, Dave, do you want to tell us something about uh, what you've done today? Um, today I <coughs> set up a shearing shed yeah. to get ready for um, a shearer that's coming in tomorrow. Yep. I had to go and get some groceries because I got to feed him. Yeah. Morning tea and lunch. Yeah. Uh, put up a I put up a fence. Yep. It's pretty hard work driving big star pickets into the into the hard ground. Yep. And I um, met up with a mate at lunchtime and we worked through a bit of a, a strategy plan to tidy up the far end of our property here. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, now with that plan we, we take it to uh, the hierarchy. Yep. The big boss, and get him to have a look at it and give the give the orders. Yep. To before oh, yeah. So this is Dave, and this is Paul. <laughs> um, I'll show you some of Dave's uh, fence work a bit later if I get a chance. Yeah. Um, either the Savi or in the morning before I take off. Yeah. Now, Dave, is it true that you've had something to do with Jesus? Uh, Were you born up in a Christian family or something, or what no, was the go with that? No, I was brought up in a, um, a non-Christian family. Um, what, were they against God, or just they weren't churchgoers? Uh, both, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it was pretty, pretty wild upbringing in the western suburbs of Sydney. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was fairly, fairly abusive. Uh, household was brought up in, and um, yeah, there wasn't there wasn't much love there, and there yeah, it's probably these days you would uh, um, you'd probably be ta kids would be taken off their parents uh, oh, wow. living under the conditions that we were brought up in, but um. Yeah, it's fairly, fairly rough upbringing, uh, uh, crime and alcohol and, and drugs and, um, yeah, but, uh, I mainly grew up, yeah, hating, hating my parents. I hated them for, uh, most of my life. Yep. And I, uh, only... Eight years ago, I, I I came to a place where I could forgive them, and um, and that was that only happened uh, once I started my relationship with Jesus Christ, and uh, and uh, yeah, just seeing that my parents, although that. Their methods and their their ways were pretty rough and tough. That they were doing the best with what they had, yep. and uh, and uh, yeah, I can understand it more now because I can see that uh, uh, they didn't have Jesus in their life, so they. Uh, yeah, I, I think, um, <coughs> well, just from my own experience of my own relationship with Christ, He has uh, centered me and and uh, given me um, a foundation to yeah to build relationships on, and uh, He's shown me that. Friendships and relationships are are very important, and yeah, so I try to 
I cherish my friendships and relationships these days, and I, uh, they have a lot of importance to me. Yep. Um, that I can. Yeah, love my friends you know, in a way that uh, I can love people in a way that um, I wasn't loved. And, uh, yeah. But when you say that, those words are kind of bandied around nowadays in all different ways. So you're talking about a kind of a true friendship that, that's thinking of others more than just what you can get out of them and what the friendship can offer you. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's um, um, I suppose, yeah, my, re my the things I've learnt in my relationship with Jesus are the things that I try to practice in my relationships with um, my my friends and my the people I meet and um, yeah I'm I'm probably fairly fairly sort of rough and and rugged sort of a, a guy I suppose and uh, well yes um, you know, got a <laughs> We've got a bit of a... We've got tea coming on now, folks, so we yeah. might have to have a bit of a commercial break here. Yeah.